Okay, here we are on our desktop. I'm going to show you how to, or the, okay, here we are on the desktop. I'm going to show you the basics of Microsoft Expression Web and what your website will look like in the template form as a quick overview, and then I will from there show you how to do things such as replacing photos and replacing text and headings and whatnot. First, we're going to open up Expression Web. As we can see, we do not have anything open yet. So I'm going to go to Site, Open Site. This will be different on your computer, but on my computer I have it saved to the desktop as this folder. I'm going to open the folder, and all these we see right here, this is our entire website. Our main page is index.html. This is the home page. We can go to the website and this is what we see on our home page. Right here, this is on a web browser. This is still in progress, so it'll be updated to your liking when finished. Okay, now to edit this, we're going to have to go to the template folder and go under homepage.dwt. This is where the editing for the homepage is. So in order to do this, we must go into the code. This is where it can get confusing. Let's go on up to the top. Okay, here is our code for the site. This is what will replace the home page if you want to replace anything. We don't need to mess with anything up on the top here. Let's scroll down. This right here is code for the, um, the font of the page and the color of the page. And if I wouldn't mess with this if you like it how it is. But if you'd like to replace it, you'd have to find the hexadecimal number for the text to change the color. Or you could change the name of the text if you don't like the text. But let's not worry about that. Okay, right here we can see this folder right here. This is our banner. Love letters, high res PNG. Let's go to design. This is what's right here. Built into our title. So back in the code, you know, it's right here. I'm actually going to insert in I'm going to insert in logo. That way you know that this is the image right here. That If you want to replace it, you'd have to replace it right here. And that's what replaces that, to remind you. And right here underneath it in this text is this. This is navigation bar. So we got home. Our story, frequently asked questions, catalog, and contact us. These are located right here. These are the links we're going to use to navigate the pages. So if you were to want to change the name of those, you would go into the code here and just replace it. Say we wanted to change our story to about us, we just type in about us. Go back to our design and we can see that it has changed to about us instead of contact us.
I'm just going to change that back to our story. Is that what we had in there? This right here is our rotating image on the home page. If you look back at it, it's the middle picture right here. It's not going to rotate in the design mode, but when it's online, it will. So we see that this is our image right here. So when we edit it in here, these are the three images that are rotating right now. Remember, we are still in development, so these this is subject to change. So we got this image right here which is the one we see right now, the second image which we don't see but we'll see online, and the third image. Now if we wanted to change this we'd replace these three. So once again I'm going to go ahead and add, add this into here to show you that this is where the rotating image is. Below that. All right, oops, sorry, it scrolled down. Back to where we were at. So remember, we were here, and this is how I replaced those three images. I'll show you how to get the images into the application here in a second, too. Alright, so that was pretty much everything you need to know about the home page.